Hello! Welcome to Chewing the Cud, where we bring you showbiz news, fun things from around the internet, and another one of our life lessons. We've got an amazing, fun-filled show for you today, so pop your slippers on, pour yourself a small sherry, and kick back and enjoy the chaos that is going to be Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to meet the man who has recently discovered that he's got a fetish for inflatables. It's Mike. So how did you know I've, I've developed this fetish for inflatables? I got a little notification on mm. my phone okay. and um, it popped up. Well, you see, the thing is, I've, I've, I've not shared those photos with anybody, so where did you, um, are you watching something you shouldn't be? Well... Are you sure it was me? I, well, I, re <laughs> I recognise the tone of your voice. <laughs> well, I wasn't talking in mine. Um, but I scoured the internet looking for the highlights and lowlights to bring you the best bits, including a story about some lips and interesting things you can do with them. And I have some great showbiz news, including some story about more RuPaul stuff. And you can keep in touch with us on all the usual social media sites at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us as a podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. If you have interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name on screen now, scrolling below my sweaty bosoms. We love reading all your comments and suggestions, although not the one from Daniel in Darlington. I'm not sure that that is even anatomically possible, you cheeky beast. <laughs> right, Lee, I have decided it's my week. You think so? Yep, I've been limbering up already. Well, that explains the unfortunate smell and the discarded jock strap that I've seen in the green room. But, it, but you know, if, if you think that will help... I think it will. Okay. I do. Let's play the... Game of the Week. The producer was at an art gallery early today with a number of local celebrities. He says the constable was well hung and he thought the Pollocks were some of the most impressive he's ever seen. He's asked us this week to sort out fact from fiction. You can have the first guess, Lee. Alrighty then, let's have a look at the first one. The inventor of M&Ms was allergic to peanuts. True or false? Hmm, what do you think? <laughs> I nearly said something really rude then. I, like, I know he wasn't allergic to peanuts, but he was allergic to... <laughs> 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 Um, it, that sounds quite far out there. So I, yeah. I possibly, yeah, true. I would say it's true. You see, I think it's true because the original ones I don't think came with peanuts. I think they were just oh. like Smarties but Americanized. Oh, okay. So Ooh. we're gonna. So he was, and if he ate one, then his face ballooned and he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit like me. Okay, let us see who is right. Ah. Oh. Oh, it was true. It was true. We're both was. right. Yeah, okay. Bye. Yeah, yours. Unfortunate for him. Yes. Mm. Okay, should we have a look at this, the next one? Yes. So, true or false? The term fetish came from the Portuguese word feo, which means ugly. Oh. I'm a bit... A bit perturbed by that picture of Miss Piggy in leather and... And was there a tiny... And Rizzo the Rat. Was, was that's, Kermit that's, a gimp mask? Is that, oh yeah, it's Kermit in a gimp mask. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't answer that question anymore because oh. that's put, that scarred me. Um, I don't know, I don't know Portuguese. Do you know? <laughs> that's a surprise. It's a shame, that, isn't it? <laughs> I can barely <laughs> speak English. Um, um, but that's a bit mean to say that it's ugly. Well, that's why you cover your face. I, I'm saying it's true. I'm going to say it's false because there are all manner of fetishes and not all of them are ugly. Oh, shall we have a look? Yeah, let's reveal it. Ah, I was oh, right. That's false. Mm -hmm. do, do we find out where the word came from? Oh, I don't know. Shall we find out? Where did. Where no, did it we come don't. From? I've, just been, I've just been told in my head, no, we're not worthy to find <laughs> out where that came <laughs> from. We don't. Okay, so <laughs> it's, it's not Portuguese. That's all you need to know. Move on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the next one then. True or false? The dot over the lowercase i is called a tittle. <laughs> I think that's true. You think it's true? I don't know. I think it's true. Because uh, it just, it, it makes sense. Because it's, it like looks... it, it's the top, so it's like title. Oh, title. okay. Not like, like it looks like, logic. A, like a nipple. No, 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 I wasn't saying it was a... No. <laughs> it wasn't a bosom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for false. You're going for true, aren't you? I'm going for true. Okay, yeah. let's, let's reveal it. 
Uh, oh, it is uh, true. Okay. There we go. There, I got another point. Tittle. Bit of a happy dance for there. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay, should we have a look at the next one then? True or false? One in ten European babies is conceived in an IKEA bed. Is that in the actual I think, store? <laughs> I don't think it's in the shop. I think that means as in Ooh. people have bought an IKEA bed <laughs> and have then taken them home. Oh. Um, I, I'm going to... Yeah. You see, I, I don't think there's that many people that own an IKEA bed because they, the sheets are different sizes. To yeah, sheets you have, and you to, have to, to buy be, their yeah. bedding and stuff. It's awkward. Mm. <sighs> But, you know, Ikea is popular. It is popular, but it's very popular with the gays as well. Yeah, but mm. they can have babies too. Conceived in a bed. <laughs> well, the surrogates, they might be up can, for it. Can we get your mum on the phone to have a quick chat about the birds and the bees, please? <laughs> mum? We do what? It goes where? What comes out? Oh, that's disgusting. I didn't come... I came from a cabbage patch. I know, I know. Hi, Mum, hi! <laughs> Yeah, um, it's, a, it's a filthy lie. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say it's true because I, I, I think people might buy the frames. OK, not the mattresses. <laughs> um, I'm going to go false. OK, let us, we let have us a look? see. It is. Ah, oh, it was true! Oh. Mm. So now every time I'm walking around Ikea, I, I can go, oi, I know what you're planning later. What you're going to be up to in there. Just say no. Yeah. Oh, let's have another one. Let's see. True or false? A goat mates with a sheep to produce a gleep. <laughs> Did you write that one? <laughs> These are all from the producer, okay. and I think he's got something on his mind. Oh, OK. Um, I think lockdown's been tough on him. Mm. Yeah, uh, I think this one's true. A gleep. Because they, then they merge words together when they, like a liger, is a lion and a tiger. Okay. So I, I think a gleep would make sense. Mm. I think it's a, a male goat and a lady, a lady sheep. Okay. Lady sheep. Lady sheep. Lady sheep. A you. A you. Not me. A lady sheep. What do they call a male goat? An, a, a billy. A billy. Um, Billy, or William on formal William. days. I don't know if their DNA is compatible, to be they're, fair. They're both fluffy, they both produce um, milk and They both and have wool. horned horns. They're, they're both they horny have, beasts, they're both yes. Horned. They're both horned uh, beasts. <laughs> <laughs> and they both have cloven hooves. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going <laughs> to... Hooves. Have they got cloven <laughs> hooves? <laughs> um, yeah, they do. Um, I'm going to say no, because I don't think, I don't think, I don't think, it, if they may enjoy it, Hmm. But I don't think it produces children. I have to say, having seen many goat up mountains, I'm sure that they can't... Okay. <laughs> you I thought, thought you were going to say goat then. porn then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's all the shock in your face. I'm like going, no, I was about to say, <laughs> having seen many goats climb up mountains, I'm sure they could get on top of a sheep. Yeah. So, okay. yes. Well, you're going to go for true. I'm going to go for false. Quickly. <laughs> Move on, quick. Quick, quick. Let's see. Let's see. Who is who? Is who? A goat. Right. Is it true or is it false? Do it's true. true. I've never seen a gleep, though. You might have done. But how would I know? Exactly. Oh, you have to go, oh, go who's your real daddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going to a sheep saying, who's your daddy? That's, that's cause for concern. Yeah, yeah, Shall we move on right. quickly? Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> okay, this one. True or false? Kylie Minogue is afraid of clothes hangers. Well, I am an expert on, uh -huh. on Miss Minogue. I have never recalled that piece of information. Mm. Um, I think she can swing from them. I, I like think a she... trapeze artist. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she's only tiny. She's only tiny. <laughs> she's, not, um, she's not small or far away. She's just tiny. I've, in, in all the many interviews and books and fanzines <laughs> and CDs and concerts that I've attended. And staking outside a house <laughs> in the bushes. <laughs> Never have I ever heard her say that she's frightened of coat hangers. But would she necessarily admit that? Because of the whole wire hangers joke that everybody could make. Yeah, but only people of certain, only, only gays of a certain age would get that. Are you calling me a gay of a certain age? Yeah. I think it's true. I think it's false. <laughs> let's reveal, let's see. It's no! true. <laughs> now, now I want facts, please, gallery. I need facts, I need data, I need preferably an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Where she says that. Shall we? Shall we see? Shall we see what what the scores are at this shall point? Shall we have? A, shall we have a look? Some find out. Have a look. I have three. Oh, three. And I have four. 
I win again. I oh, are, we, are, again. We, are we doing another one? Do, or are we, have we, uh, let's, let's have another one. Let's... <laughs> no, no, you've lost. Anyway, okay, let's move on. We have received lots of comments last week following our 100th episode, and some of them were actually positive. So later in the show, we'll have another demonstration in the segment we are calling Life Lesson. Useful advice and help with matters to make your life just that tiny bit better. And you've got just enough time to put a load in, because coming up after the break, it's Lee and his show Biz News. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we hot foot to the man who can out shimmy Jason Derulo. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. It is true. I do say my name before every sentence. I, I Lee heard. Robertson. <laughs> <laughs> I said out shimmy, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have quite the same sort of effect as Jason Derulo. Derulo. That's in his contract. He has to say that oh, really? all the time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's do some showbiz news. So um, we have more RuPaul's Drag Race type news today. Oh, exciting. I know. We've, we've not um, had any of this for, the, for ages. For ages, <laughs> ages. So, so they, RuPaul seems to be taking over the world with, with, with her brand. Well, because she is supermodel she is, of yeah. the world. So yeah. we've just finished All Stars 2010. T-million. T-100. <laughs> That's the official, <laughs> so, yeah. the official title. You won't go for 2010. Uh, no. 2020 instead of 2010, no, I was thinking. Oh, no. No. Um, and they have announced... This week, that there's going to be a Holland version of RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, how chilled. Holland days. Holland what, days. Holland days. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, do they, what do they speak in Dutch. Hollandish? Uh, Dutch. Dutch. Dutch, OK. Dutch. So I assume she won't be presenting that. They um, speak a lot of English as well. Do they? Yeah. They're just not all like that. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what was that? What was that I accent? don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm slightly concerned that we might need a medical <laughs> professional. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, there's going to be a, a spin-off, like a docuseries, mm -hmm. and it's going to be called um, RuPaul's Drag Race Vegas Review. So last year they had this... They, so they're going to set up a... Drag Race review in Vegas, so you okay. can go and see a rotating thing. Right, like of... on stage review, not yeah. like someone going, that wasn't very no, good, that no, wasn't no, very good. Go well. sit in a room <laughs> and go, that looks a bit patchy. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what Twitter's for with yeah, Drag Race. Yeah, so yeah, so that is going to be, it's a show that, now whether whether Corona and lockdown has changed that, I don't know, but it's, it's a six part show and it's going to follow six of the iconic queens. Mm. So we have got Naomi Smalls, mm -hmm. Evie Oddly, Okay. Miss Vangie, mm -hmm. um, Cameron Michaels, Derek Barry, and Asia O'Hara. Oh. I know two of those, I think. Which two? Vangie and Evie Oddly. Okay, mm -hmm. so the, the, the newest ones, really. The new ones, yes. Yes. Anyway, so what happens is, is that it goes backstage and follows them, like, preparing for the show and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's, um, you know, a change to the... Contest type situation. I'm not sure whether I will be tuning in. I probably will tune into the first one, yeah. and then kind of go. Are you? Are you? Are you watching Drag Race Canada by any chance? I have watched a little bit of Drag Race Canada. Um, and how do we? Well, do? I'm a bit drag raced out. Yeah. It's a, it's non-stop. So it's a bit like when we get to the height of Big Brother, and it was on for four years non-stop, mm. and we had just like Big Brother, Celebrity Big Brother, Big Brother, Celebrity, and I just got Big Brother doubt. Mm. I'm, getting, I'm getting that way with Drag Race now. Yeah, it's a bit... it might reach saturation point. Well, it's due to be aired on streaming in August, at the end of August. So, yeah, look out for that one. Now, this, I like this bit of news, this celebrity oh. news. So, do you ever wonder, do you ever wonder what celebrities are like, like, in general life? So, like, when they go to a restaurant or they go shopping? No. On occasion. On occasion. On occasion. No. But I, I always just hope that they go to a restaurant in full, like, being them mode. Oh, OK. And have a meltdown if someone doesn't recognise them. 
Oh, right, okay. Well, there's a, there's a waitress who used to work in Nobu, which is that the trendy... Mm -hmm. does, is it Japanese? Is in it? Nobu, yeah. Yeah. And um, she has gone onto Twitter and she has been rating the celebrities that she served when she was a waitress. Ah. Ooh, Ooh, she served the tea on them. And I love it because she gives them scores out of 10. So this, so here we have a picture of Gigi mm -hmm. and Bella Hadid. They uh -huh. are models. 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 One of them is going out with him from One Direction. There was more than one in One Direction, <laughs> so you're going to have to... The one that left bit. in a huff that was a bit stroppy. Zane. Zane, right, yeah. OK. Yeah. The one with the um, tattoo. Yeah. Um, and she, now, she gave them a really high score, so she gave them... So they, they were really, prof really professional. I was going to say professional. Professional. <laughs> really professional <laughs> having, a, having a meal. They were really polite. Um, they were really nice. So she gave them quite a, quite a high score. Others have mm. not been as, as, as fortunate. We have... This is Hayley Bieber, who apparently is Justin Bieber's wife. But huh? Justin Bieber is four, so how can he be married? Oh, I don't, I don't, what? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? You see, the only thing I know about Justin Bieber's family is his mum. His mum's name. What is that? Her name is Patty Mallet. No, it's not. <laughs> Patty <laughs> Mallet Bieber? No, 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 just Patty Mallet. Patty Mallet? Yeah. Okay. That's, a, that's true. Google okay. it, find out it's true. Okay, okay. So Hayley Bieber wasn't particularly very pleasant, apparently. Well, she has to put up with a four-year-old all day long. Well, yeah. So. I want some more sweeties, Hayley. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go chase the swan. Up in the poo. Um, <laughs> oh, so, look, baby, baby, baby. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> so, she, so she wasn't particularly very pleasant. Oh. Um, so she got um, a 3.5 out of 10. Oh, sure, she got a point five. So The got a awkward three. thing was... was was that, that Hayley Bieber saw this <laughs> on social media and oh. sent um, reply to say, I'm really sorry. Oh. Um, I, I, I must have been having an off day. Um, please forgive me. Um, That's quite sweet. Yeah. I would have preferred it if she'd gone full meltdown on her. Then, um, so, billionaire Kylie Jenner. Why is she a billionaire? What, what's huh? happened there? I, I, um, I, she got two out of ten. She got that high. She got that high. Two out of ten for Kylie Jenner. Um, she apparently, although she wasn't particularly badly behaved, mm -hmm. their bill came to something like a billion pounds and she left like 50p as a as tip. A tip. Yeah. Now, in America, it's a big thing to tip, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, that's, that's how... They include it in the yeah. bill. Yeah, so um, she was like, she was like, uh, I'm really sorry, but you know, it was five hundred dollars for the dinner bill, and you left a tip of twenty dollars. Uh, do with that information what you will. That's what that's what she's left it with. Do with yeah. do yeah. Um, and the, the the video that she recorded has has got two point four million likes, um, and thousands and thousands of of comments. And she's promising to do a part two. I love the idea of this. Yes. So yeah. So whenever you go to a restaurant, you must be nice, otherwise they'll grade you on the internet. Oh. Mm. Greg's, I'm lovely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, finally, we, we're getting to that time of year where we are talking about, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. It's coming round again. Don't look like that. You know, I call it, I was a celebrity, get me a mm, career. Yeah, it's, it's... Well, I would have thought that this year, because of, of COVID, it mm -hmm. would be kiboshed. But apparently it's not. They're looking at possibly well, moving outside, it... <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to meet people outside. They just put cameras <clears throat> in celebrities' gardens and just click between them all. <laughs> no, they're putting them in the out, out back of the bush. They're in, they're in an yeah. open space. They can yeah. communicate. Well, apparently they're in oh. negotiations as to doing it in Scotland. Okay. So, um, genuinely, <laughs> yeah. This is going to be the 20th season. Uh, so, I presume Scotland must have forests. I'm not going to say jungles because there's no, no jungles. They, do have forests. In they have forests in Scotland. <laughs> they have trees. They have trees. <laughs> there's fewer tigers. Yes. Um, yeah. than there is in Australia, because there's no tigers Although, in Australia. Although, I'm liking the idea of perhaps them doing it near Loch Ness and throwing celebrities in to see if Ness eats them. <laughs> or not. <laughs> it could be, it could be. Um, so, um, I want to know, are they doing this in the winter? Well, they'd have to, wouldn't they? Because it gets very cold it in does, Scotland yeah. in the winter. So, yeah, they're, they're still thinking about that, but, you know, there's not many kangaroos in in Scotland. So what are they going to substitute for a kangaroo bum hole? I don't know. I don't think they, they that's a question <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't just grab a local kangaroo and say, excuse me, are you into some ribbing? <laughs> what, is the, what is the national animal of Scotland? Is it a haggis? 
Yes, fit. the wild haggis. Yes. They, they roam free. I would have thought they had tiny bum holes, though. Not enough for a celebrity. They are, you know, you know, you have a haggis, haggis, it's that tiny little knotty bit at the yeah. end. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. their bum hole. So, yeah, so they'll, they'll be planning that. Mm. But they're, they're obviously, they're, they're going into, like, who would be in it if they were going to be in it. Um, and there's everyone, you know, they, they, the Jason Manford's been rumoured, Jason K, not Jason K. Um, Who's Jason K? <laughs> Jason K, that well-known celebrity. <laughs> Vernon K. Vernon K. Yeah, oh, that's okay. his brother, Jason. Uh, right. But the Vivian... Has has said winner of of Drag Race UK has said Ooh. that she would be up for it. So really, yeah, the Vivian would be up to, up for a paycheck that gets on yeah. TV. She 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 said to Lorraine when she appeared on Lorraine that she shall, shall, shall I do the accent? Yes. Do you know what? I've never thought about it really, but that went a bit brummy, that didn't it? I'm just going to say, um, but what an absolutely <laughs> amazing opportunity that would be. So she would do it. I presume it would be out of drag. Possibly. Can you can you do your Lorraine impression now? I'm Lorraine, and that's great. I would like to apologise to anybody who is Scottish or from Liverpool. Uh, but the one that I'm more excited about is the possibility of Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin! She could possibly... Really? Go, yeah, that she, she's... Look at this really awkward photograph of Carol Baskin. In, <laughs> that that line looks like it's doing a dump, or it's about to do a dump. <laughs> she makes me happy. Um, so, yes. Um, that, yeah. Carol Baskin. I would love to see Carol Baskin in the, in the jungle. Yeah, I'm I'm slightly concerned now. Should yeah. kill people, surely. Great. That uh, if if she was in, I would be in there. I would. I know I wouldn't be in it, <laughs> but I would be watching it. And that is the end of this week's Showbiz News. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Coming soon, it's better than homeschooling. It's our life lesson. But stick around because coming up next is Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who, unlike the song, was a teenage dirtbag. It's Mike in the buzz. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was. I actually liked that song by Weezer. It was written about you, though, wasn't I, it? I'm sure it was, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Only I wasn't after the girl. Anyway, moving on. Um, and quite aptly, we're going to start talking about meat. Nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you're buying your fresh produce, okay, um, do you, when, when you're at the supermarket, do you buy something in particular when you're buying your meat or do you just grab whatever's there? When I'm searching for meat. When you're searching for meat at the supermarket. Um, are you a grabber or are you a peruser? I, I like lean meat. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, I don't go to the to ask for the meat. Okay. I go to the cool area and so you go and pre packaged meat. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Poke it. Give it a bit of a poke. Yeah. Give it a bit of a look under yeah. under the meat. Sometimes lick it a little bit. Yeah. Um, for the pre-packaged, <laughs> you licking plastic packing. Yeah, it has you to. can tell a lot. Um, yeah, you can. That's the reason why you're banned from a lot of supermarkets. <laughs> <laughs> well, one lady on Twitter whose name we have removed. Um, shared her dismay when she got her 500 grams of meat back to home. And she weighed it and said, um, Sainsbury's, this was supposed to be a 500 gram pack. Where's the rest? And it was 478 grams. Oh, that is a, that is a life altering <laughs> amount of meat. <laughs> exactly. It's like one string of mints oh, that she's missing. Dear. Um, <laughs> so had a bit of a breakdown about it. That's fine. Especially when someone then replied to her saying, isn't that illegal? It used to be that by the Weights and Measures Guide, if it says 500 grams, it should contain that. Met police, oh, please advise. <laughs> yeah, they, they'll have been on that straight away, won't they? Exactly. They're not arresting criminals anymore. They're going, oh, Sainsbury's two grams of mints missing. Sort it. Forget, forget <laughs> the missing and the, the suspected murderers. Yeah, crime, no, meat. It's about the volume of meat you get oh. in your packet. And it's not even proper meat, it's mince. So that's like <laughs> feet and ears and heads. <laughs> <laughs> and hooves and hair and yeah. the occasional and eyeball. holes yes. and things like that. I, I'm sure Sainsbury's Mints does just contain beef mints, though. Yeah. Um, well, just for legal reasons, I don't want yeah. to get sued. No. <laughs> no, just for once. Prime meat. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll move on then um, to aliens. Aliens are out there, Lee. They are. They are, and we have proof, finally. How? Okay. Um, and this was a photo that was shared of a Borg cube coming out of the sun. As you can see, a 
perfectly formed cube coming out of the sun. Okay. Now, I know you have no idea what a Borg is, do you? No, I, a Borg is from Star Trek, Trek across yeah. the universe. Yeah. And it's those weird robot things that they turn people into. The, the... Other robot things. Yeah. Yeah, and they flow around in cubes. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, so people get very excited that, that this is proof of alien. When you say alien people life. were getting very excited, sci-fi geeks were getting very excited. And NASA. And NASA, well, it's the same this thing. Not, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The rocket scientists were getting very excited uh, because the, it was actually coming from our sun. So our sun? Our sun, the thing that's not that far away. No, but is it okay? Um, right. And it's te the, the cube was coming ten, it's ten times bigger than the Earth. Ooh. We were getting very excited that things were coming for us. Was it not just a little bit of smudge on the camera? It, it turns out it was a dead pixel. Oh! <laughs> in okay. the camera. Right. So, after all these NASA scientists are running around going, aliens, aliens, we found aliens, maybe it's debris, it's not debris. What is it? It's a dead pixel in the lens. I would so have like, been uh... packing my suitcase <laughs> <laughs> and heading to the nearest underground cave. Really? To, <laughs> if that, if they, I, well, I wouldn't be going, ooh, new life from another planet. I'd be going, yeah, I've seen films. <laughs> I'm out of here now. Later. <laughs> I've just um, got this image of you with a shovel in the garden going, I'm trying to get safe. It's not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Googling how to build an Anderson shelter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's sad times for the geeks. It, it was sad times for everybody. I mean, have you ever thought about what would happen if aliens invaded, apart from you running scared? Um, if they were nice, then that would be good. How would you know they would be nice, though? Because they wouldn't kill you. Like E.T. Yeah. They just come over with a glowing finger going, yeah. ouch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had healing properties, that finger. Yeah, so I thought. I just take it back to memory. Um, um, I, yeah, if they were nice, that would be good. But if they were like the aliens out of Mars attacks, that mm. zapped you with a ray gun and disintegrated you, then that would be good. <laughs> I love the way you've got for Mars attacks aliens, like the least threatening of aliens. They, they zapped you and you disintegrated. And, and would, their heads would explode if they listened to music. Yeah, which is, <laughs> which is always an advantage. Yes. Um, well, and then, but the, the ch chesty, chesty, chesty bursting one. Chesty bursty ones, <laughs> yes. Like a, <laughs> um, that would not be good. From Alien? No, that would not be good. No. Unless they were like slugs and you could put a little bit of salt on them and they'd like to <laughs> turn inside out. <laughs> this has given me an insight into your mind. I never want to see yeah. it again. Yeah, the world <laughs> safe hands <laughs> should we ever be, be populated by aliens. <laughs> and if something catches your eye on the internet, why not share it with us? Just look for The Cud TV on all your social media platforms. Our mailbox has been filled to overflowing this week with a letter from Mrs. Belinda Mycock, oh. who writes, Dear Chewing the Cud, I'm writing in my capacity of president of the Cockermouth Under 60s Naturalist Troop. Please settle an argument. Do fish get thirsty? Yours, Mrs. Belinda Mycock, Cockermouth. I've been under a 60 year old naturist. No, oh, really? I haven't. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Linda. Um, Do fish get thirsty is the question. Well, they're in water all the time, aren't they? Yeah. So. Do they drink, though? I don't know. Because they breathe the oxygen through the water through their gills, don't they? Mm. So you get thirsty when you're breathing. Mm. Perhaps, perhaps they just don't. Perhaps, they, perhaps, it's, by perhaps it's by osmosis. Osmosis of yes. fluid. Oh. Yeah. Can you explain osmosis to me? Osmosis is where... Um, a thing. I'm bored now. <laughs> 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 and that brings us to the story of the week. Now, a few weeks ago, Lee, you had me having a fish suck my lips. I did. In, in an attempt to make them plumper and more beautiful. Mm. Well, there's a new craze that's happening in Russia. Is there? That will uh, change the shape of your lips. Your face lips. Your face lips. Okay. Yes, although it does make them look a little bit interesting. Oh. So this new craze um, from Russia is to have... Devil lips. No. <laughs> um, where you get lots of little peak bits on no. top of your... Get... <laughs> no. No, that's horrible. Why, why have they done it? What have they done it with? What's going on? It's collagen injections. No. And they've, they've shaped their lips to... <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. Horrible. Look. Ugh. Why would you do that? It's, it's a new thing. They're, they're trying to make themselves look different. Trying to make themselves look that they will never have a relationship. <laughs> it's, hor it's really horrible. It looks like... It looks like holly leaves. It looks a like little him. like another part of an anatomy. 
I've never visited that area of the anatomy, so I don't really know what it might look like. On a boy. On a boy? On a little round one. Can we bring the picture up again, please? Imagine the teeth aren't there, because they shouldn't have teeth down there. OK, and perhaps if she was going, ooh, ooh. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Think, yeah, I get it now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So is that not the one for you? No, I don't like it. You don't like it? <laughs> <laughs> not the end. Because <laughs> we we're going to book you in for some no. devil lips. No. no. Because you were disappointed by the fish action. I, my, my, I could get quite good action. <laughs> could quite I, could, good action. I, could get, I could get quite a good pump <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on my lips. I was pumping away and got nothing. No. Mm, but I, I don't want devil lips. You don't want devil lips? No. 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 Uh, we did have a couple of reactions on, on social media did we? for the devil lips as well. Um, so, Sam Jones Price, these new lips look like this pasta for dinner. Yes. With mm. bow tie pasta, it did look a little bit like the bow tie pasta. Bow tie pasta? That's what that's called. Oh, is it? Well, it's got, it's got an Italian name. Bow tie pasta. <laughs> that wasn't Italian <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. That was like Jamaican. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know what the, the Italian is for the bow tie pasta. Um, <laughs> but it's definitely not Jamaican either. No. Um, I know the other reaction we had. These ladies out there looking like Pac-Man ghosts when you eat a super pellet. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I liked that one. The geek in me enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah, well that's... Because you, you, you're old enough to remember Pac-Man. I do, I, I, yeah. That came out when I was born. Yeah, oh, right, OK, I misunderstood <laughs> everything you said there. It sounded like something like it came out of my bum. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pac-Man came out the year I was born. Oh, you, you was born. Yes. OK, well, thanks for that, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to behind me going, wagga, 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 wagga. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I OK, apparent, uh, good news is we've had a spelling of bow tie pasta in Italian. OK. I need to apologise. Apparently it's faffoli. 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 Well, that sounds much more convincing. Yeah, well, uh, bow tie pasta <laughs> is going to remain for the rest of my uh, life. OK, well, well thank, thank you very much for that, Mike. No problem. And that brings us to the end of the buzz. Well, thank you very much for that, Mike. It was informative and irreverent. <laughs> and again, I don't know what that means. OK. <laughs> this is all about your dick. <laughs> yeah. Going through words going, this word today. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've got just enough time to learn the phrase welcome back in Esperanto before we have this week's life lesson. Bon ven on Ray to chewing the cud. I can see he's got, well, let's say an appliance ready. It's this week's life lesson. Life lessons. Yes, I do have an appliance. Ooh. Here. It's very sleek and black. It is, isn't it? Do you, do you give your appliances names? I do. So... For example, what would you... What would so, you... my fridge is called Freddy. Freddy, OK. Yeah, well, technically, it's Freddy the Fridge Freezer. Oh. Because it's hyphenated, you know. OK. Um, Barbara's the blender. Barbara the blender, I like yeah. that. Yeah, Tommy the toaster. Tommy the toaster. Kenneth is the kettle. OK. Yeah. Well, that's nice. I could keep going. Yeah, you could. <laughs> you could, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we would call, call M for microwave, Matilda. Anyway, so, today in our life lessons, I am going to... I'm going to give birth... <laughs> to my, my chocolate soup recipe. You're finally world. letting the world know um, yeah, this chocolate I, soup recipe. Yeah, it's stated enough inside me to let people have it. Um, because we have, <laughs> we have spoken about this lots over we the a lot. millennium that we have been doing this <laughs> show. Um, and I've kept it secret. But I'm going sh to share with you all how to make chocolate soup. I'm excited. Mm. So, um, obviously we've got... Malcolm. Okay, Malcolm. The microwave, who we will need. So please get a microwave <laughs> ready at home. Um, so you should have a bowl. I have a bowl. Uh, have... Yeah, so take out the things that are in your bowl. Okay. Um, and in, in the um, container next to you, you have chocolate. Chocolate. No, not touching some of that. Why? That's white chocolate. What's the matter with white chocolate? I hate it. Why? It's evil. 
It's just albino chocolate. It's, no, it's the fat that they get off the top of chocolate that they then process into chocolate and it does not that, taste that, like chocolate. Is that true? It or is. have you made that up? No, it's true. It, that sounds like more what my grandma used to do when she used to cut mints. Yeah. She used to let all the fat rise to the top. And then scrape it off. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they make white chocolate, but with chocolate be fat and... It's, no, it's evil and I don't like it. Okay, so for those who are not freaks, um, you can use whatever kind of chocolate you would like. So, um, Mike, would you would you like to not touch the white chocolate? I would like not to touch um, the white chocolate, but touch the touch the milk chocolate. Okay, and break it into into pieces and place it inside. What cocoa solid are we talking here? I don't know. It's just milk chocolate. Okay, so what? Not forty percent, thirty percent. I don't know. Do you, how do you how do you live with chocolate where you don't know your cocoa percentages? In my world, uh -huh. it doesn't really matter what percentage the chocolate is, as long as it goes in my mouth. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want both these pieces of, of milk yes, chocolate? Yes, put both of them in, yeah. Don't be stingy. Okay, I won't. <laughs> with, with chocolate. So yeah, whatever chocolate, I wouldn't go for the chocolate that has like a filling. So you know the ones that have got like caramel or... <laughs> All right, so we're not um, gonna go for a crunchy then. No, don't go for that. Although, that, that doesn't... Um, I, I once made a cake using Toblerone. Did you? That exploded. You could use Toblerone because the stuff inside is quite tiny. Uh, tiny. But it expands. Does it? Yeah, hence the exploding cake. Oh. Right, so I've, I've so, put so the right, actual yes. chocolate. So, you, so well. you've put that in. So what we're going to do is we just we just need to melt it. That's all we need to do Okay. So melt it. So we're going to put it in my Malcolm. Okay. Um, so <laughs> if you, you pop it over there. Um, I don't know how to use this. <laughs> Then we, we shall learn together. Woo! Malcolm has opened and he's ready to receive. Um, so we're just going to pop that in there. Um, now, I, you don't want a high volume, a high, high heat heat for, your, for, for the chocolate. You don't okay. need to burn. No. Um, so, is somebody going to come and do this for me? No, you're going to do it. <laughs> um, there are buttons. Um, I'm, I'm just going to, uh, yeah. What does that do? Oh! We'll just, we'll, we don't want five seconds because that will not melt it. Okay. Um, we'll, go, we'll go for 15 seconds initially um, and then that's a start. So let's just start it. I don't know what, I don't know what <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, let's watch it. Well, this is exciting. <laughs> ah, um, so yeah, you must keep an eye on, on the chocolate inside. Ooh, spinning around. Like a, like a doll on a music box turned by a key. Why is it making a lot of beeping? So, oh. um, it couldn't, it, that might, which way should I go there? So look, um, it looks all solid, but that's misleading. Chocolate oh. misleads you because it can look solid. Tricksy chocolate. It tricks you, um, but it could actually be melted. So I'm just gonna, no, that's pretty much solid. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so it's really tricky because it knows yeah. you think it might um, be melted. Yeah. And so it's, it's tricking you to still be hard. It's starting to melt. So just gonna pop it back inside. Um, if we were ever going to win um, a TV Quick Award, it would be for this. <laughs> oh, I didn't even need to. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> even need to pre-prepare it. I just pressed it again. Just press the button, see what happens. Yeah. Oh. So you. So see, white chocolate. Be, obviously, you, I would be doing this on on a band Marie. Oh, how fancy! Yeah. You ain't got. To, nobody's got enough time to do a band Marie. It when takes you, about the same time as microwaving. Um, yeah. But yeah. Um, what chocolate would you go for then? If I'd you... go for dark, like a good 80-90% chocolate. Um, tastes bitter that though, doesn't it? Not really. No. No. Mix, maybe mix it with a bit of cream. Oh, a bit of cream. Oh. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but it is starting to melt. Ooh. I'm, ooh, oh, I'm getting a bit moist now. Look, ooh, <laughs> it's starting to melt. I'm, I'm gonna, ooh, probably another 10 seconds, I think. Okay. Um, for that. Um, now, you you said you could, you added a bit of cream, you would add a bit of cream. Would you add yeah. a bit of cream? A little bit of cream and butter. Butter. Mm. Oh, would you add alcohol? Um, to me, yes. <laughs> well, you could you could have a little smidge of Bailey's, or um, or creme triple de sec, triple sec orange chocolate. Oh, that's mm. right. Now, so that is melted now. So Ooh. I'm going to pass it over to you to, okay. to to mix. Oh, thank you. Mix, mix the um, lumps out. Of it. So this is fascinating, Telly. It is, isn't it? Watching Mike mix lumps in a. Chocolate bowl. Has it, has it all melted completely? Uh, no, we've got a few lumps, but we'll get rid of those in a moment. There we go. Is it, is it all of a, a, of a 
a smooth and even consistency. Oh, nice. No, not yet. So I have provided you, I have provided you with a, I think they're called ramekins. I, I have got ramekins, yeah. yes. So if you would like- And a sample cup. So if you would like to serve yourself um, some chocolate, chocolate soup into your ramekin. So I'm putting hot chocolate into a cold ramekin. Yeah. So that's gonna set. All right, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> we're not, we're not. <laughs> And I'm going for a Michelin star here. <laughs> a Michelin star. A Michelin star. <laughs> Not a Michelin star. No. A Michelin star. <laughs> Those tyres are important. Exactly. <laughs> oh, shut up, Paul. Um, <laughs> everyone's a critic. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to help myself to some some chocolate. Okay. Um, now I have also provided you mm. with um, some mini marshmallows. Now they they would be croutons. Oh, okay. So, so I need yeah. to just tip these out because you know I, I don't like the white ones. Oh, oh God. Um, yeah. Choose whichever ones you think you would like. I only like the pink marshmallows. Yeah. Okay. Um, so they, those would be your croutons. Okay. Because um, we're keeping it healthy. We're keeping it. Um, now, you know, I would pretty much just stick my face right in there and eat it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm trying to be a bit refined today. I'll put a few marshmallows in. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. Um, would you would you like a would you like a would you like a star? <laughs> Are you asking whether I want a chocolate star? Yeah, would you like a, a, a chocolate star? I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna pop a tiny little unicorn oh, in into my soup there, um, and a couple of stars. Oh, and a rainbow went in there as well. There you go. <laughs> why <are> you why? <laughs> I'm going to be eating a chocolate star. Um, you can um, spritz on a little bit of, of edible glitter spray. Oh, um, <laughs> oh no, it, it, it's, it's acting like glitter. It's yeah. attacking me. You just, you just, poof. Oh, you, I have also, because, you know, whenever, I don't know when you have normal soup, uh -huh. like, like fruit, vegetable fruit <laughs> soup. <laughs> That's wine. Uh, when you have like... Um, fruit soup, yeah. Fruit soup. Um, you, you, you normally have bread with it. Uh huh. Yeah. So I have provided you with a with a <laughs> with a, um, a, a chocolate covered um, rice cake. So so can I eat this now? You can now. Uh, I'm just look. I'm look, look. Look at the presentation on that. That is that is minging. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> tastes amazing. So so go for it, Mike. Get some chocolate in your face. I don't eat mine like a lady. I'm not going to go to the my face together. Do we like it? Is it nice? It is just chocolate. Mmm! It says, well, it does on the tin, it's chocolate soup. It's not nothing, nothing earth shattering. <laughs> but even carrot soup's got more than just carrot in it. <laughs> it's got marshmallows in it. This is not fun food. Mmm! It's delicious. Mmm! <laughs> chocolate mouth. Mmm, yeah. Mm. We have come to the end of the show for now. But if you can't wait another week, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for The Cud TV on social media, thecud.tv for our website. And while you're on the website, have a look at our support section for exclusive clips. Stay safe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Later. <laughs> Bye.